All right, today I've received my package from uh, X Repairs and now I need to see the Hall of X. All right, let's open it. All right, these are my old modules from my uh, damage Jewel 6 modules that I sent him. So yeah, yeah, clicks. And, yeah, there it is. So he's given them back. Now, where are the Hall of X? There you go. There they are. Look at this, guys. All right, the Hall of X. It clicks. Yes. Oh man, this is perfect. This is so perfect. Let's get. It. Let's get, let's start. Let's start. All right. First, I need to open up the front case. There you go. Sticky and fiddly. Come on. Okay, it's finally out. The front case is finally out. Now I need to pull out the levers. As you can see here, that's the left analog. And I need to put the Hall of X one in. All right, that's clicked in, put the lever down, and now I need to do it on the other analog. So bear with me for two seconds. There you go, slipped off. Now I need to shove it in. Slide it in, it should click. Is it clicked? It's clicked, there you go. Now pull the lever down. Okay, there you go. There you go, all right. Make sure it's all secure. It's click, there you go, it's finally clicked. All right, now I need to feel the whole effects. I need to feel, because as far as I, as I can remember, there should be zero resistance on the analog. Now I need to put my PS5 Pro on. All right, so okay, the analog tool so great, zero resistant, very slippery. I mean, all right, let me check on the PlayStation Store. All right, I can go up and down. Yeah, everything's so fine. Okay, this is a good sign. I think what we need to do is now add the thumbstick. And whilst adding the thumbstick, I think I'm gonna try to play on Fortnite because Fortnite shows the dead zones. 12 seconds later. What the hell? Hey yo! Oh, okay, that's. Hey yo! Oh my god, he walks by himself. Why is he doing that? Up! Oh my god! Let me quickly free build. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I can't do anything! Alright. Oh, he, he, I can't stop running. Oh, it won't stop. I can't. Can I free. Oh my god, I can't control this. I keep looking down. All right, let me check out the dead zone. Dead zone quickly. Wait, something's not right with this wall effects. No way. Not now, phone. Okay, phone. What the hell? Uh oh. All right, let's put this in my PC. Let's see what's wrong with it. later huh wait what okay what the hell is this one is looking towards new york the other one's looking towards the kibla what the heck hey bro what's your question my question is, what the hell? A few moments later. What the hell is this? Hmm. Oh, I can explain that easily. Well, after I did all the soldering and I fixed the dead zone, I sent it back to you and everything was perfect. But I think what's happened essentially is once you put the analogs back into your DualSense Edge, it essentially recalibrated to some weird default position. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Simple, you have to recalibrate it via hardware and probably software. Don't worry, I'll guide you. Even though X Repair has sent me a bunch of video links and pictures to undo everything, I'm going to make a YouTube video so that way if you guys do follow my step, hopefully this should be easy for you guys. First step, I need to open this. Here you need to release it.
Which is the front. There you go. Next step, I need to open the analogs by clipping this and clipping this. Off you go. Off you go. Next part, I have to unscrew this. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiny screw right there. I need to unscrew it to get rid of the backside. So I'm just going to do that right now. All right, time to use my trusty little tool. Okay. This is the right size for it. I finally found it after a while. Time to go to the back and now time to unscrew it. Okay, I've done it. I'm putting the screw safely over there. Put it there. One, two seconds. Okay, put it in the box because I think it's a safer spot. And now the back here is slid off. Next step, I need to take the analogs off. Okay, so let me just pull that off slowly. There you go. There you go. Now I need to put the back slider in it without screwing it and then slowly put it in the dual sense edge. Okay, that's okay. I will explain later on why I'm not screwing on, but right now I just want you to see if it it's there you go. Alright, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So on the left it determines it determines the y-axis the bottom determines the x-axis as you can see there's two holes now these two holes you need a safety pin or like a little stick in this case i'm going to little use use one of the little screws and shove it in and i'm going to try my best to basically fix the x-axis so now i'm going to use a little diagram to so that that way you guys can fully understand the bill right now i'm just doing the second analog too see the holes time to adjust there you go I found a tiny enough screw to fit in the holes all right time for the diagram to explain a bit okay so the bottom is the x-axis the left are the y-axis so this is what you have to do if I want to make the dead zone move to the left I would have to stick the hole on the right side and move the analog to the right and put slight pressure towards the left and then let go of it and that would move the dead zone more towards the left and then if I want to move it more towards the right, I would have to stick in the right hole and put the analog towards the left side and put a bit of pressure and let go until the dead zone is right in the middle. Now, I'm not going to lie, this took me so many flipping hours. As you can see in the background, I was injecting the stick in and out, in and out, and I was trying to figure out. I even watch other YouTube tutorials and believe it or not, in the process of doing all this, I think I may have damaged one of my analogs, but hey, like I said, this is for you guys, so if you do watch this YouTube video and you do Hall Effects, you know, at least you don't need to make the same mistakes I, I have. I think my left hand eventually got damaged, but hey, it is what it is. What can you do? As you can see, I've already aligned the left one, but I've still got to keep doing it. Now, what I need to do is I need to take it out to do the Y. So this is the X, this is the Y. So now I need to take it out and do it manually and then shove it shove back in and out, in and out, in and out until basically the left one is fully centered and i'm done anyway coming back to why i didn't put the uh, back and screw it to the board is because you need the top capsule part to connect it so what annoyed me the most and this was the annoyingest part forget about the x-axis here the y-axis i had to keep pulling the modules in and out in and out in and out because the safety pin or the bobby pin or in this case the screw it wouldn't work like I, I had to like like you can't bend the metal in so i had to keep pulling the modules in and out in and out just to do the y-axis and believe me it took me forever six and a half hours later after adjusting that like a hundred times i'll go right in the center the dead zone is literally 0 0.02 okay now that's done well i've done my best trying to adjust the dead zone whatnot i have to now reverse the process and put the modules back the way it was initially um yeah now now i'm going to stick in the modules back the way it was and uh yeah if you want to skip go to 11 minutes 31 seconds enjoy
Unfortunately, I actually thought I got the dead zones exactly like below five. I didn't, but because like I said before, I think I've damaged my left analog stick, so I had to increase the dead zone to instead of zero point five, you had to go to ten percent on the left analog, and the right analog because it had a bit of jitter. For me not to have zero percent like zero stick drift it, i had to put it on 0 0.8 which isn't that bad but to me it's fine however i remember x repair said there is a temporary solution that i can do to reduce the dead zone um which is the software side now i'm about to explain it but please pay attention if you have a normal dual sense edge controller i'm begging you wait till the end because i will explain it thoroughly the software is a game changer anyway let me get into that now all right so this is a website it's called gui collaboration c -shay. i will put it in my description so if you don't bother googling it like the way i did i will put the links for the dual sense edge and the dual sense the normal controller but at the end of the video i will explain the two difference anyway this is only for a temporary solution for the dual sense edge um what it essentially does it recalibrates it via software to the center so even though you've got the stick drift by like 0 0.8 a or 0 0.9 with the software it will readjust it and all you have to do is follow the website's instructions so you have to take a top top right then top left then bottom left then bottom right so right now all i'm doing is following the um, instructions so after doing this i am going to show you now gameplay from fortnite as you can see the zero stick drift this is stuck directly to my pc amazing three weeks later well having the dual sense edge for roughly a month once again the left analog stick is on one the right analog stick is still on 0 0.08 the whole effects has done its job Although I can't get any lower than that, I've done my utmost best, I've tried. Now there's one little technique you can do, and it's a bit of an odd one. If you want to do the software side, you can essentially connect your DualSense Edge to the PC, connect your controller to the PS5, adjust it. Whilst this is wired to the PC, the, Dual, the DualSense Edge dead zones, if you do the temporal ejection software, will be 0 0.5 on both sides. It's an odd method, but you have to keep your controller to the PC. Do I recommend it? The answer is no. Um, here's the amazing part. If you're adding hall effects to a normal DualSense Edge, you don't need to do any of this prodding. If you soldered it correctly, even though there's like stick drift that's pointing like this, with the software, because it's on an edge, a normal controller, it will fix it to 0 0.03. Meaning your normal controllers, if you do it via software, by installing, the hall effects with a, a driver board these will be 0 0.05 however if you're using a dual sense edge unfortunately they haven't made anything just yet now coming back to the questions in my last video is i think one of the my one of my most viewed videos on youtube is the first time that i thought to myself i want to get hall effects now i'm going to reply to some of the comments comments was i want to get into this do you think i should recommend it first if you're going to get into it experiment right then experiment on controllers and if you can make a branding out of it we need more of that in the uk that's the first point second comment that came up was there was this one guy who's begging me please make this video please make this video so if this video comes across rush my apologies i'm not blaming the comment guy but he's saying look i want to like I want someone to do the soldering for me. I want someone to essentially add hall effects for me for my dual sense edge or my dual sense, the normal PS5 controller. Now, the amazing part is X repairs from the UK. You can go to his eBay and spend about £25. As far as I'm concerned, he does the cheapest one for the hall effects. I recommend it. And like I said, if you do it on the normal dual sense, it, dual sense, it'll be like permanent. But if you do it, uh, via software obviously you have to do the software part but if you do it via the dual sense edge you have to go through all the hell i've been through specifically the hardware part but like i said is it worth it that's the rule end question is the hall effects worth it even though the dual sense edge hall effects weren't as low as i wanted it to be well guess what i'm gonna pay another 25 quid and send it to him anyway thank you for you guys watching honestly it's been a journey I am going to do more improvement to the DualSense Edge and I am going to be doing more reviews on AIM controller because I have one of their controllers where it have four paddles, hall effects, 
um, mods. Anyway, look, there's more to come to this channel. Please like, share and subscribe. It means the whole world to me. Thank you for watching. Everyone take care. Peace.